Oh, hello, everybody. That was a weird one. Hi, everybody. Adam Savage here in my cave with some tested infrastructure. Yes, tested infrastructure, not even just my cave infrastructure. Um, a funny thing's been happening over the past few weeks. Actually, over the past few months. Uh, I really like oscillating back and forth between um, between big builds and small builds. That should be pretty clear if you watch the channel regularly. I like, I like doing quickie uh, two-hour things, one-day things, two-day things. Uh, and then every now and then, I like to sink my teeth into something fat. Um, like some of the franchise builds I have done in the past few years, some of the larger ones, spacesuits, for instance, for G4 network and stuff like that. Uh, and this year has been slightly anomalous in that there has not been uh, any really large sink my teeth into builds because there's been just a lot of infrastructure stuff to take care of, like actual uh, business, uh, the business of running the business of Tested has taken up so much attention uh, and there's been so much travel for the whole middle part of this year, probably probably put in like 50 or 60,000 miles already this year um, in terms of airline travel. Um, and so about a month ago, I realized that I wanted to clean up Tested's office. We have, we have offices for Tested. They're different. They're in different places than here, and they're different than this. Uh, and you've seen us shoot videos in there in our makerspace and against our background and stuff. But since pre-COVID, the Tested space has been um, neglected, shall we say, by all of us. It's been a collective neglect effort. Uh, and I realized it had to be me that made these calls because we've got like 15 years of a tech company's garbage and, you know, all these old broken robots, which sounds great, <laughs> but like there's only so many things you can do in a lifetime. So I did a lot in the last month, I did a lot of cleaning up Tessa's offices and that felt really good. It felt very cathartic. And then I noticed I was like going home. I, one day, I like just before I left, I took pictures of the office and I went, here's the pictures that I was taking. And I went home and I was looking at those pictures and I'm like, oh, I'm mooning over my build. This is the big build this year. Cleaning up the offices. It's nesting is what it is. I'm like, I'm nesting for the crew. And again, we are all working remote. For the most part, our whole tested team works out of our houses and that works great. But once a week or more, we need to meet up here to either branch out and go do an exterior shoot or talk about stuff or whatever. There are all sorts of things that bring us into the office. And it was not a nice place to be. And I'm sorry about that. Oh, I see. It's, it wasn't a nice place to be. It was, uh, it was fine. It was fine. It just, what's with this big? Anyway. Um, oh, hi. Hi, everybody. So... I have been fixing up the tested offices, and one of the things I noticed was the sink. Let us go to there. Here, here is the tested kitchen, and here is the sink in question. Now, this sink, it's fine. It's got this water filter on it, it's fine. The, this is really low, and it's hard to wash dishes in this, and I don't like low faucets. I have an opinion about faucets. I have a point of view about faucets. So. I'm going to swap it out with one of these. Yes, a standing. These are great. These are great. There are two classes of these. There are the consumer level class, which are like this one, about 100 bucks or less. And then there are the expensive restaurant class. I got one of those in my house and it's really nice, but they are, uh, it was spendy. Uh, so I've got a nice inexpensive one here. I'm going to swap it out. You get to see me do a little plumbing work. Okay. There's a garbage disposal. I've been in this office for 10 years and I did not know we had a garbage disposal. That's hilarious. That's ridiculous, but it's also hilarious. Uh, there we go. 
Uh, the first step to working on a sink oh my goodness, is to set your mees. I was going to say it's about shutting off the water, but uh, this is not going to be a how-to about how to do plumbing because you don't want to learn plumbing from me. Uh, however, I'm just shutting off the water and also, yeah, I realized I hadn't quite set my, uh, my agenda correctly. Just to be clear, the last thing I would want you to do is to watch this and think, I can do plumbing and then go mess up your house. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't watch me as a how-to. Just watch me as, watch, this is fun to watch me screw up. That's why you're watching. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I successfully turned off the water. Okay, the hot side is good. Cold still needs a little. Shut off. There you go, all the way down. Next. Lovely. Hot is good. Oh, look at you, spider. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, you're wondering what's going on. Let me, uh... Oh, there's a couple of you. Well, let's, um... Out of there, spider. Good job. Sorry, there's a companion spider. Yeah, come on, come on, you can get in there. There we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That's it. You're both in there. Now, let's let you free. So, this is, um, those are the valves right there, there and there, uh, that shut off the water to the faucet. Now I've got to basically get on my back inside here and undo the faucet there. So this is one of the ways that plumbers apply their trade is they bring all the right tools with them. Yeah, um, I was just not fully paying attention. So let's see. Done all that faster if I had done it that way. Okay, undoing. Okay, great. <laughs> That's progress, but now I want to undo. Ah. Hey, 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 stop drooling for me. But, but soft what light through yonder window breaks. It is not quite the east, it's actually the south, but Juliet is still the sun. Uh, so now I think I can obtain these. And pull up this bit of garbage. Yummy! Everything you ever do in home plumbing is going to end up with parts that look like that. Full stop. Okay. Into the mud, scum queen. All right. Uh, yeah, wire brush. Wire brush. Look, whenever you're taking stuff apart and putting it back together, clean it out of it. Just makes sense. It, it's it'll make it easier for the next guy. It'll make resets easier. You don't get as gummy with crap and all that. And this is just a little stainless steel wire brush. It's cleaning up all the gunk here. I don't have to see it. Okay, so there's some things for me to figure out. Um, one is uh, how this thing goes in there. That'll fit there really nicely. But what I'll end up with is these two holes on either side where faucets normally go. And I like to cover those over. So I need to basically, what I have here is the old mount for the 
sink. And can I tell you, whoever mounted this just basically filled this with caulk, slapped that on, filled that with caulk, slapped it on, and screwed it in. Which is a method. It is certainly a method. So, uh, I am going to... I'm going to measure this. which is 1.25 inches in diameter. And then we're gonna head over to the cave. You can leave that, and I can leave that. I'm gonna head over to the cave uh, and drill these out at one and a, 1.25 inches. So here is my, uh, here's the hole. This is how big the hole wants to be. So you see I don't have far to go. Uh, but I need to hold this really nice and tight. I actually need to hold both of these. And I need them to line up. Do I? Do I? Wait, let's see here. Let's just see if I can pop these in here. I get a little bit of purchase on them because I'm lazy. Yep, I can. Great. So now I'm just going to chuck this uh, annular cutter up into the business end of my mill. We're going to raise this up. Oh, this is what I love so much about the annular cutter is that it is just so gentle. All right, but I got to center this first. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is going to be messy. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we can do. It would be a tra- oh, I'm so sorry. It would be a tragedy if I drilled down through this with that and hit one of these. It would really mess, that's like a $50 bit right there. Oh, here we go. Slow and steady. Oh, glorious. There we go, that's our nice uh, 1.25 inch hole. Oh, hi there. Uh, yeah, back to the office. All right, uh, so. Oh, I can put that in now. Right, oh, that's great. All right, I'm gonna tighten in the bolts right now and I've got those and I've got these and I'm gonna do all this at once. Oh, right. You are still a little damp. Okay, so these guys. You'll have a question when you do tightening stuff about like how much should you actually tighten it? And the answer is your basic home C wrench gives you the leverage you need for the kind of tightening you're gonna do on average. That's sort of a rule of thumb and especially also with like auto repair. If you're tightening the head of an engine, you totally wanna use a torque wrench, but for most of the other tools on the car, the length of your standard hardware store wrench or Torquing thing is going to be about the right amount of foot pounds you need. Uh, with these, 
I may have to tighten them a little more later, but for right now, I'm getting them kind of good uh, tight. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if they spew when I set them up. So those are in, and now these are in. I think I understand. This up through. That's hot. And this one goes up through, and that's cool. Done that. Oh, nice. Okay, I see. Uh huh. Okay, and then that does that, and then that does that. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So let's come back up here. Okay, so this is hot. Oh, and I've reversed them. Great. Uh, they were color coded. That is hot. Great. is such an exercise and extreme discomfort. Oh.
Well there, ladies and germs. We now have a functioning uh, restaurant style washing and scrubbing sink, which is great. You might, you might get one of these and you might think, well, how different is this from a restaurant one? And the answer is, it's pretty significant. This is great. This is ideal for a place like this, ideal for this kind of thing. Um, and there's no reason, like, there's no reason to spend on that, on the big pressure washer thing unless you, like, are really a nut like me and want that in your house. Uh, all right, yeah. That's my favorite part of one of these things, washing out the thing. That was a little less time than I thought it would be. I'm very happy. All right. Very exciting. Oh yeah, you can live there. Look at that, you can live there. You don't have to live down there. Lovely. All right, let's put stuff back, shall we? I'm very happy. I am confident this will not leak. Here's the thing about plumbing. It is... Plumbers are worth what you spend on them, and their work is hard. Even though it might seem to you at times that plumbing is mechanically simple, which it often is fairly straightforward. It is a system, uh, which is true. But lest you think that the simplicity of that system means that there are less dangers hidden in it, like one of the most reliable ways to destroy a house is leave a faucet running on the top floor, bar none. So you can get into real deep water, metaphorically and physically, uh, by doing plumbing badly. Uh, but carefully done and methodically proceeded, it's certainly feasible and reasonable to do a lot of your own plumbing work and to know that when it's time to sweat the pipes in, call a professional. Uh, this kind of faucet replacement is about like what I consider myself capable of. I've hooked up a washing machine or two. Um, I don't know why I'm being such a, a nudnik about like, I just, I live in terror that someone's gonna like, hey, I learned what you did and I burned my house to the ground. And I just like, I don't wanna hear that ever, ever. Uh, okay, thanks for joining me for this plumbing. I will give no more caveats about plumbing as a practice. Um, my hat is off to plumbers around the world. Uh, by the way, that turns out to be the killer app for the ruler on my arm is purchasing the right plumbing parts at the hardware store. Right. See you guys later. Haha, <laughs> now he turns it off. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.